Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall continue to solve HSTR question paper that is high school teachers recruitment question paper of the year 2012. Already I have solved a few set of questions. Those video link will be given in this video's description box or if you click the title of this video, you will get the link. You can kindly go to the playlist and watch it. And also I have solved 2015 question paper both in Kannada and in English. Entire question paper solve agide. Nivu idar do link kuda comment box ali first comment ali pin madirthini. You can kindly have a glance which will be useful for your further preparations. Okay, let's continue with the following questions. And continuing with question number six. The condition for secondary maximum in the front of a diffraction pattern at a single slit is given by. So this is a direct question based direct formula with it direct agi new mad bodu. Kanadali eka silu randrada front of a vivartane patili dvitiya garishta ke sharatu. Okay, so let us uh, check out with the formula and then find the answer. As we look into the formula related to maxima and minima, in minima we have a formula for single slit diffraction pattern. D sin theta, if the slit do width d agidre, d sin theta is equal to plus or minus n lambda, where n is integral values 1, 2, 3, lambda is wavelength. Uh, first minima the value kelle n ge badlu 1 haki if you substitute 1 you will get first minima for 2 uh, 2 for second minima haki what is for maxima for maxima d sin theta is equal to 2n plus 1 of lambda by 2 so illi kuda we can substitute the values where n is integral multiple first maximum value kelly 1 second value kelly 2 3 and the hook tire so here are the solutions in front of our diffraction for points of maxima the slit is to be divided into odd numbers of equal parts so that one part remains and cancel alva madhidali aga matra namge a central maximum birthday on either side zil namge cancel agute edu illi for the first maximum d sin theta okay. substitute madre 3 lambda by 2 okay. how do we get this by substituting the value suppose if n is equal to 1 you get 2 and 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 lambda by 2 so first maximum for second maximum if n is equal to 2 substitute 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 is 5 so 5 lambda by 2 so this is for the second maximum and third maximum it goes on like this Okay, so where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So what is the answer now? Answer is, so the right answer is option number 3, d sin theta is equal to 5 lambda by 2 for this question. Next, question number 7. A Carnot engine with a source at 500k and sink at 375k consumes 600 k calories of heat in one cycle the heat rejected to the sink per cycle is so illi maximum minimum eradu values source to matte sink to values nodabodu temperature na kannadalli ondu carnot yantrada aakarada ushnate 500 500 k mattu koopada ushnate 375 k agirutade adu ondu aavasthadalli 600 Kilo calorie shaka one hiri kondare kupa ke prati avartake visajisuva shaka. Okay, let us do direct question ekuda. Let us check out with the answer now. So, this concept of Carnot engine comes under thermodynamics in 11th standard. Alva, Alinimge, what is the Carnot engine? A reversible heat engine operating in a cycle between two temperatures. Okay, between high and low temperature li, the reversible engine heat engine kelsa matter than now Carnot engine in the kari TV. So, heat engine um, general heat engine 
any cyclic device by which heat is converted into mechanical work is called heat engine so really what all uh, the terms relate to that in the short formally source that is hot body temperature adu t1 normally idu change madak hogbardu one sathi idu fix agidre you follow the same method adu illa ant helidre confuse agutte temperature of the source is t1 always this hot body temperature is higher t1 and the sink that is for the cold body temperature of the cold body obviously it will be lower than the hot body adu t2 input heat from the source you take as q1 output heat from the sink take as q2 okay input q1 output q2 if so this is for your understanding i have separately written t1 values to what is given uh, temperature of the source is given 500k temperature of the sink adu 375k kottidare ಮತ್ತು ಕ್ಯೂ ಒನ್ ಅದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕಿಲೋ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ರೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕಂಡಿಡಬೇಕು ಹೀಟ್ ರಿಜೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಸಿಂಕ್ ಕೂಪದ ಉಷ್ಣತೆ ಅದು ಎಷ್ಟು ರಿಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಕೂಪಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಕಂಡಿಡಬೇಕು ವಿ ನೋ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಒನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಟು ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಟು ಮೇ ಕ್ಯೂ ಟು ಅ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ರಿಮೈಮ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಕಿಲೋ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ this is the right answer for this seventh question uh, suppose if they asked to calculate efficiency of this carnot engine if um, work done value is given or q1 and q2 you know you can calculate this eta value eta is equal to w by q1 into 100 where w stands for work done work done is q1 minus q2 first idna find out maadi substitute here then into 100 divided by q1 you will get the answer for eta or else you can use this formula eta is equal to q1 minus q2 by q1 into 100 which will give you dash percent percentage accordingly or else you can also use sub w beta find out model beta direct i want to substitute and tell you could have one minus q2 by q1 into 100 suppose he q2 value q1 value kotila only temperatures are given to temperatures on the high and the low temperature put it right directly kadu kuda maadu bodhi eta is equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 into 100 so if you substitute for any of this formula you will get eta efficiency value okay let us check out suppose q1 value is given t1 t2 is given if q2 is not given like previous sum you can go for this formula first w is equal to q1 of t1 minus t2 by t1 it is substitute maadi first find out the work done 150 joule of energy then we know eta is equal to w by q1 into 100 substitute both the values you will get the answer for efficiency of the given carnot engine okay so actually either the la questions first we need to know what is given in the sum ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರಂತ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ತೆಗೆದು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈಸಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳಕಿನ ತರಂಗಗಳ ಯಾವ ಲಾಕ್ಷಣಿಕ ಗುಣಧರ್ಮ ತಾನು ಹಾದು ಹೋಗುವ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮದ ಗುಣಗಳನ್ನು ಅವಲಂಬಿಸಿಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಔಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವೇ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಏರ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ಟು ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರೇರರ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ರೇರರ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ಟು ಡೆನ್ಸರ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಸಾಂದ್ರತೆ ಇರೋದು ಯಾವುದು ಏರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸಾಂದ್ರತೆ ಇರೋದು ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರೇರರ್ ಟು ಡೆನ್ಸರ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಪ್ಲಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಎ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ರಿ 
when the light ray moves from one medium to other medium some light may be observed or may not be suppose if this boundary observes some light rays hence amplitude decreases or if it is not observed amplitude remains the same okay amplitude may not increase only these two options hence amplitude depends on uh, this medium through which the light ray enters hence that is also not the answer for this question and coming to um, lambda wavelength okay wavelength also changes when the light ray enters from one uh, rarer medium to denser medium or denser to rarer medium okay it depends on directly pro pro proportional we know the formula v is equal to nu lambda right these two are directly proportional hence lambda wavelength also changes and coming to frequency now new frequency depends on source of light from where we get the light it could be the sunlight or any form of light hence it will not change when it passes from one medium to other medium hence option number three avartha sankhya frequency is independent of the nature of the medium through which it passes next question number nine interaction between neighboring dipoles is negligible in case of antiferromagnetic material paramagnetic diamagnetic ferromagnetic and nere horaya dvi dhruvagala naduve nirlakshisu ashtu antakriye iruva vastugal endare so already we have uh, studied in magnetic classification of substances in that um, topic about paramagnetic diamagnetic ferro and antiferromagnetic materials so just re recall those what are paramagnetic substances so these substances are feebly magnetized in the direction of the magnetic field alva next to in case of diamagnetic substances they are uh, feebly magnetized in the opposite direction of the magnetic field in case of ferromagnetic substances they are very strongly magnetized in the direction of the magnetic field okay and their alignments when we look into actually um in the in case of diamagnetic substances imagine we have a diamagnetic substance before applying the electric field these dipoles will be like this and they will be no movement or no interaction between the dipoles it is zero okay there are no dipoles exist actually why it means for each up spin of an electron there is a down spin okay they cancel each other and they there are no dipole at all in case of diamagnetic substances that and when the field is applied these magnetic dipoles are they are in the opposite direction of the magnetic field hence this is not the answer for our question but in case of ferromagnetic substances they are very strongly magnetized so the interaction between the neighboring poles will be very high so this is also not the answer ili namge kelirodu interaction between the neighboring pole dipoles adu nirlakshisuvashtu irbeku so ili ferromagnetic substances alli the alignment will be parallel higidre in case of anti ferromagnetic they are anti parallel ondu higidre innondu hige innondu higidre innondu hige so ee tara anti parallel agirutte so this but there is some interaction between the uh, neighboring dipoles so this is also not answer so in case of paramagnetic substances only we find these interactions are minimum athwa thumba feeble agirutte so the right answer is option number 2 paramagnetic substances okay on moving to question number 10 the charge and spin of neutrino are respectively ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿನೋ ಕಣದ ವಿದ್ಯುದ್ದಂಶ ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ಪಿನ್ ಕ್ರಮವಾಗಿ ಹೇಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ನಮಗೆ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಮೆ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಪ್ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ದು ಸಿಲೆಬಸಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ವಲ್ಲಿ ಇತ್ತು ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ಔಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ಔಟ್ ದ 
list of those elementary particles so this is the list of elementary particles charge and spin i have already listed out later depends on hsta syllabus if it is given uh, the elementary particle do kottidre i'll explain in detail later just for now to identify the answer i have listed out all this they have asked charge and spin of neutrino so charge of a neutrino is zero spin is half or plus half okay so this is the answer for this question actually we can explain in detail idella hege spin calculate madodu charge no need to calculate it is understood alli irutte direct answers agiri but is spin alla i'll explain you later if necessary so for this question option number 2 0 1 2 is the right answer that is charge and spin of neutrino okay we shall continue the remaining questions i'll try to solve in the next video depends on your responses i thought of taking maths and physics classes in the following days which will be used for your tet and hstr exams also hstr related question papers also i'll upload in the upcoming days okay kindly go to channel playlist channel logo click madidre nimge alli playlist display agutte so you will get almost all the videos related to ಟಿಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಯಾಲಜಿ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲುಕ್ ಲುಕ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯೋರ್ ಟಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್